Hi everyone and welcome back to the Canny Tally. Um, I'm Zoe, a 40 year old married woman with six children, three of my own and three bonus children. And we're trying greatly to reduce our £39,000 debt. And that is not including our mortgage or car payment. Um, this is the year we're going to make 2023 our year to really knuckle down and chip away at this debt. Um, and just have a better life. I, we are lucky in the sense of my husband's just started a new job a couple of months ago. So his salary has almost doubled from what we used to and it's actually made me realise now looking at all our direct debits that we're kind of only just managing to pay no wonder we're in debt because the payments were exactly the same and we're basically what's the saying borrowing off Peter to pay Paul um, which is really funny because my husband's called Paul but anyway welcome back and um, if you are returning um, I've had a few years that have returned on my second video, which was great to see the same, I'll say faces, but obviously names, the same names again. Um, and for anyone that's new here, brilliant, I'm so glad you found us. Um, I'm kind of struggling to see how I'm going to grow this channel because obviously I only advertise this YouTube channel on Instagram. Now my Instagram page is private because at the moment I'm not ready for family and friends to like see basically exactly what kind of a mess we are in or talk about me private finances and not only that I'm not ready for you know everyone's got the stalkers that they kind of follow their pages but they're not interested but they really are and um, I don't want those type of people knowing my business either and um, mainly ex-partners and people like that anyway so how am I gonna grow my YouTube channel without having a public other social media channel to kind of boost it on I really don't know and um, has anyone got any tips how to do this obviously I'm following a lot of other youtubers and I'm connecting with their channel and things and I know it's going to take a long long time to build up but I would really like this to be a success and any tips at all just drop them down in the comments please and um, while you're there if you don't mind just click on the little like button and you know if you're feeling really really generous subscribe as well I'd really love that and I'd appreciate it. I do respond to every single message and um, had a really good chat with you last time um, about your pets and all the funny names and the reasons why you chose their names and things. <laughs> the one that sticks in my mind, somebody's got a cat called Panda and another cat called Alan, which is great. So I imagine Panda being a black and white cat, but no, it turns out that Alan is the black and white cat and Panda's a tabby cat. I think I've got that right. And another YouTuber has a cat called Wonky because it's been <laughs> it's been born with like a, a wonky face or something. Um, my husband laughs the way I say wonky. I don't know how you would say, it, but he would probably say like wonky because he's not married. But yeah, wonky, wonky, wonky donkey. Anyway, quick recap on what's happened on our week one. So we're still with them a week one period. The sixth of January to the twelfth of January is our week one. All our direct debits and online payments are accounted for in the bank. Some of them's already gone out. The rest of them's got the money sitting waiting. We've got all that sorted. What oil delivery we got that cost two hundred and eighty pound, and that came out my husband's extra pay that we weren't expecting, which is brilliant. We did with credit card payments on the minimum payments, but we included a little bit extra on the Virgin credit card because it was we well, Virgin credit card zero percent until April next year, twenty twenty four. But there was £121 on it that had like 21% interest or whatever the interest rates are. So instead of just paying more on one of the other ones and 25 minimum payment on that one, we paid 121 on the Virgin, got rid of all the section that's costing with interest and now we'll literally just pay £25 a month on the rest of the balance, the £800 and focus on the other two higher credit cards and get that down. I mentioned in my last video about the um, dog licences just came in. One was £5 and one was twelve fifty for the dog that's not sterilised. Totally forgot. <laughs> Poor Nigel had his nuts removed a few weeks ago or a few months ago. Um, he had this weird sort of skin infection, was driving him crackers and it's not a subject you want to talk about in here like, but they really like swelled up and went all red and black and patchy and he was licking constantly. He was so sore, bless him. It was awful. Um, 
so he had to go for a week like that until we managed to get him booked and the vet just suggested by the time they cut him open and investigated what was wrong because we weren't breeding them anyway it was just right just to chop them off so yeah long story short the dog license are both now only five pounds so i paid them today so i'll have to do a back to bank with one of the ten pound notes um my food and home shopping's done and i did meal plans for the week just simple ones but just so i wasn't just grabbing pizzas and whatever um just so everything's done sorted i withdrew cash for my first cash stuffing which i did a couple of days ago it was just a small one um, and I went today and withdrew £760. My wages went in today. So I'm going to do another cash stuffing with this here. Probably confuse you with all the different 20s. I'll show you them in a minute. I've sold two items on Vinted for £9.50. I joined Monzo using um, Leah's Budgets. If I remember, I'll try and tag her in here. Um, she had like a Monzo link and I got a £5 referral. But when I joined up, they then introduced a £10 referral. Um, so I got my daughter onto it, she loves it. So me and her both got £10 each from the referral. And then I got my husband onto it and he's just used his card for the first time tonight on his way to work. And I've just gotten the notification up that I've got another £10 in there, which is great. So that's going to to emergency fund. Um, and what Talk Talk direct debit, I presumed was 57 95 and it came out today 27 79 um, saving £30 or so I thought. My husband's just informed us that no we're not actually saving we're paying double um for the last few months because for some reason talk talk hadn't cancelled an old account so we're paying two accounts anyway i still like to think we're saving 30 pound because i was used to paying 57 pound but who knows right do you like my cup my angel of the north reminds the home um Painted the nails, my little boy, he's six. He's fascinated because I never paint my nails. I'm so lazy, honestly, I'm not a girly girl. So, because I started this, obviously, you notice in my last videos, I had them painted like black and shimmery. So he was like fascinated because like, mommy, I painted her nails and then um, I took it off today and he's like, oh, how does that come off? So I let him choose a color. So I got my box out with all my colors, but I don't really have much apart from like black, navy blue, really dark plum or red. And that's all but he insisted the happy red so it was a quick job tonight that a little bit messy but kept him happy but i feel a bit slutty but it's not christmas right <laughs> but oh it made him happy anyway let's talk for money so i'm going to quickly show you again we've got the different 20 pound notes um so oh my god so there we go so we've got wet english notes 20 pound and what Ulster Bank because we're Northern Ireland £20 now fair enough pretty similar same colours that's great then we've got Danske Bank which is also Northern Ireland blue £20 notes but still great British pounds but yeah and then we've got Bank of Ireland Belfast £20 notes in green so take your pick so all worth the same it's just confuse matters a little bit more so if you do get confused when i'm shuffling and counting thinking i've mixed my notes up i haven't it's just everything's a little bit mixed up over here <laughs> it's good job your husband's not here he'd be having something to say anyway i think i organized it better this time than my last video um but we'll see oh i've done that really annoying thing i keep watching people do when they turn their notes upside down to count them i never do that why did i do that or oh, I'm turning to one of them YouTubers as a new lot. <laughs> These are a bad influence on me. I'm going to count them my way. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1. 20, 40, 60, 80, 2. 20, 40, 60, 80, 3. 20, 40, 60, 80, 4. 20, 40, 60, 80, 5, right, that's 500, 20 is there, we'll put that in one pile, I'm going to mix them all up just to really make a mess, 500, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 
95, 200, is that right? Seven, yeah, that's five, 700, yeah. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. I thought I said 760 I'd drawn out. That's 740. Oh man, there's 20 pound of coins. Yeah, so there's 20 pound of 1 pound coins as well. I'll stick them back in there and then I'll decide where they're going in the binders. I've told two of my real life friends about this channel, right? but they're people I trust from work. And one of them messaged us the other day and said that apparently it's a really relaxing bedtime watch. Um, it's kind of like ASMR. You know that um, noisy stuff people all do on TikTok that sends you to sleep where they go and the tap. Or maybe this is like ASMR. So if you're watching, you knew, you know who you are, and I hope you're watching again. Let us know it work. Right, that's all neat and tidy. So now, because I've only got two days left of week one, and we've already done my food shopping and petrol and all that, I'm not putting anything else in. I've left the change in what we've spent, but I'm not putting anything else in food this week. Um, oh, where's my note? I had it all written down what I was going to put in my Here it is. So I'm not putting anything else in food this week. But um, will I do week two, three and four? Mm, I'll come back to food and petrol. No, I'm going to do it. So food, we're doing 280. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 1. 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 260, 270, 280, 290, no, only on 280. I'm going to put that tenner back and get two fives. I'll tell you what I'll do as well, I'm going to swap that for two tens. I'm going to recount this in a sec because I think I've just confused myself. Right, let's see. Right. So I want 280 in food, but that's for the month. So it just ignores for a sec. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60. What am I doing? 20, 40, 60, 80, 1. 20, 40, 60, 80, 2. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80. Did you write it right, right the first time? What on earth? Right. So, that is for week 2 and 3. I'm going to do um, 2, 3 and 4. I'm going to do ninety pound. I'm going to just leave all that together like that. Um, where's my little clips? How cute are these? Got these for a uh, wax company because we're symbols, like a little um, little star logo. But I just couldn't resist them. So I'm going to put all that together there, and then next week when I come do my cash stuff and for the week, I'll use that. And the week up and the week after. It might seem like not much, but because we spent £120 on food, we've got all the things we've kind of really run out of, and the rest of it's just like top up shops and fresh meat and stuff. Is that going to even fit in there? No, I'm going to have to do it sideways. Come on. <laughs> my daughter will be listening again upstairs because she's dying to find out what my channel's called, but I'll not tell her. Um, and she thinks she's a good stalker, but obviously she's not as good a stalker as me because um, she still hasn't found it yet. She keeps thinking I'm going to follow myself on Instagram and I was like, why would I do that? Because I don't want anyone to know my account exists. So I'm not going to follow it from my normal account. Anyway, right, food, petrol, we're going to do the same for petrol. Um, we've already topped up, we've filled the tank with £70. Um, so that'll do this week and a little bit of next week. And then, so week two, I'm only going to put um, £30 in for week two. And then week three. Three and four, I'm going to do £50 pound each. So 50, 20, 40, 50. 
so that should be 130 so let's see 20 40 50 20 40 50 so that's 100 130 so that's next week and that's the ones after right. that's not to be spent until we need it Home and garden. I am going to put. Should I have another list? No. Right, I'm going to put 45 in there. There's already 30 in. We've already spent some as well. Because um, the budget was 95 this month because we've got the chimney sweep. I think it's about £45 unless he's put his price up. It might be 50 But it's around about £45 anyway. So there is extra going in this month. Uh, for the £45 extra. Oh no, I hear my daughter upstairs. I think she's coming down. Yep, the floorboards are creaking. Maybe she's not. I'll keep going. Right, 45 and home. Now these are for the month. Um, because I don't buy a lot of stuff weekly for home and garden, whatever. I tend to buy at the start of the month when we've run out of stuff. Health and beauty. Um, I changed what I had in there just so I had some change. I've already spent some of that. And um, getting vitamins and stuff from your husband for work because, hang on. Obviously with him working night shifts and sleeping all day, he's going to be low on his vitamin D, as we all are in this country anyway. So I've got vitamin D, vitamin C, because everyone's got these coughs and colds and stuff. Um, I've started coughing today, but just like a little tickle every now and then. But I'm like, oh, I hope I'm not getting this chest thing that's going around. Let's hope not. So I'll take some of them vitamins as well. I did get vitamins for the little one. And um, then little Mr. Men jellies and stuff, but he won't touch them. He's so funny with things because it looks like a different sweet to what he's used to. He's like, no, I'm not having it. And I'm sitting right, okay. Anyway, he's difficult to feed at the minute. He's only six, but they think he's got that ADHD. He's busy getting referred and stuff. He's, he's quite difficult with change and new things and whatever. Anyway, off track. Um, Health. Hmm. I haven't actually wrote that down. How stupid am I? It's already got money in anyway, so I'm going to leave it and see what's spare at the end because that's obviously meant for that. Pets, I'm going to put 24 in. Um, no, I'm only going to put... Right, hang on. 24. 1, 2, 3, 4. Right, but £10 of that is going back to the bank for the dog licences. Which I paid online. So for 14 and pets. School, I'm only putting six in because I've already spent some. Um we'll drop the little ones water bottle going in. He's packed lunch water bottle and smashed everywhere. So we had to have a new water bottle so that comes out of school because it's like well, it's only time he uses it. Um alcohol, we're putting 30 in. And then that's fully funded for the month, unless the beer guzzler wants more. <laughs> we'll see where we'll go from there. Eating out, I'm going to put 40 in. And that's fully funded for the month. Date night, I'm going to put 20 in. Now, we're going out um, on the 23rd, I think it is. We got tickets last year to see Sister Act. It's coming to Belfast. I can't wait. I love musicals. My husband hates musicals, but he's agreed to go on this one with us because um, it's for my birthday and we're wedding anniversary and stuff. So we're going to have a night out. That's going to be our date night. Um, I'm probably going to need to put more money in there because if we're getting a taxi, every time we're going to Belfast, we'll get either a parking ticket or a bus lane ticket or a speeding ticket. We've had no luck, so I think we'll be getting the bus there and a taxi home. Um, so I might need to put some more in there if there's anything spare, but we'll see. Days out. Um, I'm going to leave that for now because really we're back at school, back at work. I'm not going anywhere. It's cold. It's miserable. We just had Christmas. I just want to sit in with a fire on my jammies. <laughs> we sound dead boring, don't we? Um, my money, I'm just going to put a tenner in. Because um, I've already got birthday money, Christmas money. I've already spent some of it on pens. Um, I bought them rubby outy pens. 
that everyone's going on about. And I was like, you know what, I really didn't need to buy them. But somebody said they're really good and they said it'd be worth it. So it's not that bad a spend. Um, Grace is going to get 20. That's my middle one. She, if I'm confusing you by saying six kids, right, there's only two of them live at home now. Two of the biggest ones are at university. The other two middle ones live with my husband's ex. And Grace is my middle one. And the little one, he's only six. So they're the two at home. So she would look after Will quite a bit for us. Like chopping and changing and shifts and things. and um, Just the crossover of our jobs. So giving her a, bit, a little bit money towards that. Um, back to bank. I've got a note in there reminding us. Um, my husband needs to put £40 in for he bought these two balaclava things off some motorbike shop um, online and he's obviously going to put the money back in there to go back in the bank so that's just what the note is inside there and that's dog money going back to bank so that's that for now and then um, right so this one here emergency fund depends what we've got left I'm gonna wait until the end of the month and see what we've got left for that Um, oil we've just filled up so I'm gonna leave that for now right we'll leave all them for now and then gifts I've already spent six pound I was only gonna put ten pound in anyway this month so I'm gonna put four pound in so that's a change of that That's just for little things like kids' birthday parties and stuff coming up and just just small gifts, really. Um, and birthdays, Sasha's just had hers, so that's going to come out of the budget because she's right at the beginning of January. That'll be at the end of December for us now. Um, Grace is 16, so we need to put some more money in there. So I want 110 in there, so... 20, 40, 60, it's already got 20 in, so 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 5, 10. So basically the £100 the gift and then the £10 will cover our cards and banners and things like that. We don't go overboard about um, birthdays. That's only because it's a special birthday. Because we've got six kids, we can't afford to do this £200 and things people spend on their kids, which is great if you can afford it. We've literally just been £20, £25 each. Um, those actually one Christmas we had was so bad. We only had £20, £25 each to spend on all the kids. And it was, <laughs> it was fun trying to find unique things for such a low budget, but it was heartbreaking as well. It, at least they still got presents as kids out there don't get anything but it's not a nice situation to be in so I'm hoping we'll never get down that road again this is why I want to really get stuck in with this so that's Grace fully funded now for her birthday and um, the rest of the birthdays can wait um, right what have we got left so we've got 10 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Right, what did I not put in? I didn't put health and beauty in, did I? Now, I want to put more on that because my hubby wants contact lenses because his glasses keep steaming up at work and on the bike. So, I'm going to put another 15. In fact, no, I'm going to put 20 in health and beauty. Um, I'm going to have to put more on that really because I'm going to have to look for a different dentist our dentist is rubbish and we haven't been for ages either so we're probably struck off now um, and they're all private now so I'm going to have to up this I think um, pets is alright school is alright alcohol is alright eating out is alright, date night I'll put some more on date night 10, 20, I wonder if I've got 13 I I've got food Tell you what, I'll put a fiver in here for this next two days just in case I need bread or milk or bananas, a little next bananas. We've got everything else in. So that's just an extra fiver for these next two days till a new budget. Pet was totally fine. Home and gardens, 
fine. Yeah, I'll put it in date night. Do you know what? I'll start days out. I'll just put a fiver in days out. Because as I say, we only have date night once a month, if that. In fact, I normally have date night in the house and it's normally Netflix. I'm not going to say it and chill, it's not. It's normally Netflix and a steak dinner and then some munchies. <laughs> That's how rock and roll we are. So, but date night's now got 20, 30, 35, 40. Um, plus I've already got tickets to the show, so that's just like if I want a couple of drinks there in a taxi home. Um, yeah, so that's that all sorted. What I'm going to do is, obviously I'll be reviewing it again at, um, at the start of next week. Or well, our next budget, which is Friday. I might not do it on Friday because I'm at work, it might be Saturday. Um, I'll review the budget again and sort the money and the petrol and that out again for weekly. Um, I'll see what I've got left if we need anything. I'm going to keep the change in there, but come the end of the month, I'm going to empty them all and whatever's left, I'm going to be putting them um, in different savings and things like that. Um, building the emergency fund up, anything that's left in the bank, like what buffer and things like that, or if there's anything extra gone in, or oh, side hustles, that'll go straight in the emergency fund. Any loose change will go on the penny challenge um, and notes and envelope on. All in all, they all go on debt anyway, so it doesn't matter what the savings challenge is or whatever. It just makes it more fun and more interesting. I've been following loads on um, YouTube. And uh, I'm just blown away by all the little trackers and stuff you could get. You could literally spend a fortune on like all the budget and stuff you can get. It's so cute. But I'm going to try not to. Um, I've decided instead of dropping hints for my birthday for the Rainbow Budget Planner, um, I'm going to use my Christmas money and just buy it outright if I catch it. Um, I did message her to ask her if there's any chance she could hold us one because it's my birthday, but no. Um, but I understand she's probably had loads of people messaging and even people making up stories probably as to why they deserve one, whatever. But um, she's got 45 delivered, so I'm hoping I'm one of the 45 people who gets one. Um, that'd be a nice little treat. So, what have you all been up to? Even though it's only like two days since I last book. Oh, look. I haven't put this anywhere. How daft am I? What have I got one? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, I've got eleven pounds there. Um, I've got a little bit more gifts. What have I got in there? Four. Five. Let me get up to five. No. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. I'll make that up to ten. Because I think Will mentioned a birthday party this week. Do that. And that leaves. One, two, three, four, five. You know what? I sat down last night and today hours and hours working out exactly what money I had, what denominations, where they were going, how much, and I've still got it wrong. I'm just no good with maths whatsoever. Um, yeah, never mind. Right. Date nine, one, two, three, four. I'll stick it in date night. Mm. Ah, I'll stick it in date night. It's another fiver. It'll tip the taxi driver. There we go. Right, that'll do for now. Um, it was just, I was going to say it's just a quick one, but how long have we been going on? Or oh, 30 minutes? I'll edit it, maybe. We'll see. Um, it will seem to be about that time. I don't know how to get them any shorter. I must just waffle on so much. Um, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. I might go through all the different direct debits and that with you. I have found in the cupboard this great big pot of coins that I've had for years. Um, I hadn't realised what even in there when I was tidying up. So I've got to count all that at some point too. Um, but that can be for another video. It's pointless doing it all in one go. Um, as I say, yet again, any tips on how to grow my channel um, and how to make it more interesting, more fun, let us know. Um, if you just want to waffle on about anything else in the comments, go for it. I love a bit of chat. Um, 
Right, catch us all later at the next video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Um, and if you have got this far, right, this time I want you to put, um, let me see, a star icon at the end in your comments. Um, let's see who gets this far. Thanks very much for stopping by. It means the world. Bye.